สวัสดีครับ and welcome back to this video I wanted to do more tests with this interesting twenty dollar ish lens that is thirty five mil f one point six and want to analyze more about its sort of focusing tab and its bokeh let's say and the first example that I have for you here is just how The center is sort of in focus first, and then we can see sort of the edges are out of focus. But this is not sort of a criticism against the lens itself that it doesn't have good edge-to-edge -edge sharpness. We're not looking for that, but that when I shift the lens just a little bit to the next image, um, we can see here now that the two lenses on the edges are now in focus, while the one in the center is out of focus. And so this is sort of zooming out just a little bit, and this is sort of its closest focusing. Um, we'll get to another image where I was near um, focusing from infinity, and then this sort of kind of center being focused, and then um, the edges being out of focus or in a different focusing plane um, is exaggerated even more. So from this two images here, seems that there is a very big dome where the focus sharpness is located. Most of the time, with other lenses, I suppose, and this is just sort of guessing a little bit, is that there needs a lot of correction in the lenses, especially with wide-angle lenses, since it's like a bulb, like a dome, um, needing to sort of. Have sort of the focusing plane be on the edges and stretch out a little bit more compared to the center. That's where sort of wide-angle lenses um, might uh, bend the lines a little bit when people sort of try to shoot these grids. Basically, it will sort of warp in and then warp out. But we don't have that in this lens, which is a good thing and maybe something on purpose. So once again, these. Um, three adapters are in the same focal plane, and yet the sharpness is in different areas depending on where the focusing tab is, and it's just very interesting. Now I'll go to a next set of photos to just show. Like now, this is at uh, 1.6 again. Um, just testing out just the various. Uh, texture. This is all JPEG straight out of camera, and this is sort of using. Um, I think it's sort of standard negative, just the least saturated film simulation, and then reduce the saturation even more, reduce like the highlight and shadows even more, just to get like the most um, low contrast, less least sharp um, image, and it's basically my. Um, Poor man's log profile when you don't have log profile in a in a camera, basically. So even when getting it right, it's still sort of sharp, and then everything just sort of bleeds out, um, quite dream dreamlike. So these are the only two color photos that I sort of have taken um, since I already sort of used 1.6 at another previous video. Now I'm like wanting to try a um, different uh, aspect, which is sort of zone focusing at f8. And so here are just some of the images that I want to sort of take note. And in a future video, I will sort of release the full like POV street photography walk that I did uh, here, showing more photos. But these are some of the photos that I did not record, and I wanted to talk about it. One funny thing that is sort of a little bit funny is that even at f8 and with most sort of traditional lenses, they would sort of tell you the distance of the metering of zone that you can sort of expect to be sharp. But with this lens, there's no such metering at all, which is a little bit hilarious to having to guess. So I just sort of set it at its sort of infinity mode. Because even the tab itself, the distance is not accurate as well. So that's just sort of talking about the cheapness of this lens. Yet with its cheap build quality, just comes with other other unique sort of uh, aspects that other refined lens might not have as well. And it's really up to the person to sort of try to figure it out. 
So back to the image again, um, we just sort of have this person sort of dead center and then even his friend right on the side um, is already out of focus. So we get this thing again where it's like a bowl where everything on the corners just sort of bleeds out of focus. So it's, it's like vignetting but in the sharpness uh, focused area department. Not sharpness but the depth of field <laughs> department. Here is again another uh, photo trying to push even more to like uh, still f8 but now this is a little bit farther distance and so even more area is slightly in focus and this person now is sort of also in focus even though she's sort of quite far away from the main uh, topic which is sort of the buildings and the trucks on the side. This one is also uh, another one where I try to sort of just test out between the um, smaller aperture and the wider aperture. So this one it was at f8 of the 7-11 area and then this one is at um, 1.6 again and then everything here is now just bleed out and then even though the focus is here and it should have shallow depth of field this motorcycle person still and I'm just I'm not gonna zoom in and pixel peep anything just looking at like straight on that is sort of relatively in focus compared to everything else so even center frame something that should be in my mind at least um, out of focus because I'm trying to focus on the building at 1.6 should be out of focus it's still relatively in focus again I think it's like the dome curve of the depth of field is like here and then it sort of moves inward to sort of happen to catch this person in the the zone as well here's another example so again um, with the dome it's sort of um, not going outwards but going inwards so we have this grab person that focus so because all of this is sort of going outwards it gets even more out of focus which I think is sort of the uh, intention of this lens in the first place since it's trying to advertise itself as a portrait lens so if your centered person subject is here then everything else you would want it to be even more blurrier even though it's at f1.6 it causes more blur this is the main uh, photo that I wanted to share um, about its unique design feature and just go to this sort of second photo that I kind of like more and uh, just a little bit background I saw these police officers um, walking through so I tried to sort of focus where they might be ahead of time but obviously I miss since they're a little bit out of focus but just look at how and I'll just zoom in here for one time this uh, shop behind them is in focus I don't think there's any sort of debate about that and then we come to let's say the midground they are sort of out of focus and then now we come to this man in the let's say foreground and then he's in focus so we can sort of see that it sort of bends out and then we can sort of maybe see over here on this table that it comes back into focus just a little bit more um, and just see how there's this again bowl of field where things get into focus so it's focus center and then it comes outward to the sides if the police officer again was sort of maybe here maybe they will like meet or be fall into that sort of focusing field sharpness but that is uh, not the case so for in, in this photo walk I went to uh, try a little bit some of this uh, reflection on the shops and how sort of the lockdown um, caused all of the restaurants to um, just cannot um, serve people at this time so everything is uh, just basically take away but I wanted to integrate a little bit more where it's not just sort of um, empty shares placed on top of tables but like the reflection that's happening on the other side of this restaurant as well so behind here has some uh, a subway that is going on and they wanted to try to integrate and see how this lens might perform together so just trying to work out the scene a little bit more and find something interesting this one I think is sort of maybe technically okay but it's still not 
quite interesting per se. And this one is what I think to be interesting, but sadly the person is has their eyes closed and is blinking at the time. And interesting because we just have this line on the um on the structure and then the person's sort of body is sort of being cut straight down and then we have the arm sort of um reaching out and stretched out which makes a nice gesture and then the person is sort of framed right inside of the person's body but sadly her eyes are closed at the time so it's not quite quite a miss looking through on other areas of the restaurant to try to find a decent reflection and then move on to see something else this is sort of a close-up of a friend of mine and they just see I'm just quite impressed like how sort of smooth and soft um, everything is and uh, speaking of the black and white I was honestly using a higher contrast simulation I pushed the sort of blacks uh, shadows into the plus two and then highlights minus one just sort of the general um, image would just be darker without blowing the highlights um, at all and so not too much contrast like plus two shadows and plus two highlights but more like bring everything lower in exposure wise and then here now finally going outside again and then having to use 1.6 and just saw this sort of potential silhouette of this man playing on his phone and one thing to sort of take note when trying to use this lens is that you really cannot like focus center and then recompose because um, as shown in previous the photos that when you sh move the center focus the center plane and then the focus field of it will also shift so you need to compose and then use the um, focus peaking on the camera itself to then focus the uh, person that you want to be in focus and that would sort of maybe take a little bit of practice and that's just sort of the benefit of just having focus peaking in general on digital cameras and honestly I'm not too happy with the exposure when I saw it through the viewfinder it felt much brighter in the sign and then I tried to sort of bring down the exposure just a little bit so I think this will be an image that I will sort of edit in the raw files later on but um, a couple other images again just sort of bring down just a little bit so the sign is not overexposed but I think this one is a little bit too busy and then it sort of distracts uh, and pushes away from the main subject of this silhouette that I want to focus on though I kind of like it but it sort of if I want to focus on this person then this whole image itself is too distracting and this one might still be uh, better and I have a few other versions but um, not something I want to share in this moment this one's another photo that I quite like um, in this night um, just a lot of sort of things going out of focus again and then just a person using his phone and then it lights his face uh, quite nicely and then this will this is my sort of favorite photo of the entire night where everything is just has this softness to it yet it's clear and just the interactions of the people uh, going together and then just eye contact with um, one of the other guards at the back but that said um it's actually going quite longer than i expected so i'll end it right here and be sure to subscribe um to just see the next pov video of this photo walk um exactly with more photos and trying to zone focus with this lens and i will see you all next time bye for now